She has, in my opinion, really re-energized the theater movement, a movement that needed to be re-energized by a young person. I'm going to say young because... I love that word. Yeah, me know, a young person. Yeah. Yes. Youthful energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, she, of course, is... Uh, she boasted recently that, look here, it's going to have double... <laughs> double degree, you know. Top Anna's door, talk to her. <laughs> you understand? Very independent, intelligent woman. She's an actress. She's a producer. She's a writer. She is a sports journalist. She is host of our very favorite Jamaican TV morning time show here on national TV. And she is just an awesome friend. David Harris, welcome. Johnny, I'm nervous about it. My son sits up ready. Oh, that my son like 20 people. Oh, well, <laughs> because Dave, you have to do so much thing. Look at me, come on, my bed goes to sleep. Oh, and that's something else that I learned today, that you sleep early on a Monday night. Yes. Because you have television. Occasionally. Occasionally. Some Monday night. <laughs> some Monday night. Some, some Monday night actually work until... Good job for the how how do you do it all? You do acting, you are a playwright, you do TV, you do I I mean I, I don't know, do you still do radio? I I think okay, from time to time. From time to time. You have to host, to so, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How 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 did it start? How did this 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 this, what, this engine? Get started for day hours. What started this engine? What? <laughs> I tell people now that I'm gonna just buck up. <laughs> no, so when I talk to, to young people and I tell them volunteer, volunteer, you don't know where it's going to get you. Because mm -hmm. I never studied um, media. But when I was at CAST, which was LMAH, I was the sports coordinator yes. for the teams, football, netball, volleyball. And because I did that, then I went into the national volleyball team as a team manager. So I just got interviewed for the one day with, with JBC. And Edward said, you know, this young lady, she's very articulate. She knows a lot about sports. Yeah. Would you like to do sports journalism? And I said, you know, we can try. And, and that's how television started for me. Because I, I met you first. Um, I knew of you through Festival First. I think that's yeah. where I knew of the name David Harris. Because yeah. um, I was a little young youth in Festival myself. So your name popped up as, as Festival Queen. Mm -hmm. Um, you see, when we look for the age limit as to what age you cannot enter, right. you know, the middle of the nice line saying, and she's ring was so queen. And I'm going to say, Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so when me with none of them, you're not a man. Even 
You know what the thing is? People like, I, and I say yourself and me, because we, we, have, we share TV time yeah, you know, yeah, together. Yeah. Um, but people look at us, man. It's like, I can see people trying to work it out. You know, yeah, try to work out the match. Yeah, but she yeah. looks so young. She looks like a teacher. This happens all the time, right? Charlie, I'm going to Africa. I'm going to Zambia. I went to bus come because I'm not Zambia. Then the only fucking friends with that was East Bus is for us, the young people. That's the way I said his name. That's just our age group in that bus. Yeah, our bus. Yeah, yeah. He said, Oh, what age are you? 30? And then he said, Oh, yeah. So they all do them. <laughs> <laughs> so he tell them, He said, Me, when me ready as Zambia, me, I'm going to come here 10 years down there with me. <laughs> the Johnny Live Show. Hey, call somebody and tell them, So we live right now, people. Daily Harris is my very favorite. Guest right now. She's not going there for the whole show, people. It's not a special treat. Normally, this young lady when she have appointments in the morning, she says, "Now I have to go home." Uh, but there's, I want to talk to you about this. Is, this is Heroes Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Jamaica, we're celebrating our heroes today. Um, today we honored over two hundred people. Um, at King's at House. King's House. Yeah. Um, including some 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 very popular artists that we know of. Yeah. The great Jones. great. Yes, John Andre Hutchinson, she has a, 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 an African Monica to her name now. Akeem, 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 John, I don't know what I'm saying. Where did you? Akeem, what did you say? Akeem, John, sorry, what did I try to pronounce it? I, 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 what are they? Joan, 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 that bumpy and gal, oh no, right? She said one. And she was given today for her contribution to the art, the culture. Absolutely deserving. Congratulations, Joan. I mean, Grace Jones. Grace Jones. Jones. Yeah. You were there today, were you? No, I mean, I was at Heroes Park. You were at Heroes Park. Yeah. Would you go to Miss Grace Jones and Grace Jones ask No, Grace Jones out the way for Look here. Look here. You see Grace Jones ask me? <laughs> Look here. When Grace Jones, Grace Jones come like when you watch one of them something, you see something that step out and they grab it. Oh. Somebody did it and it's Grace Jones and the flowers, that air style icon that you know. Somebody can dress was cinema did not for her icon. Icon, icon. Big ups to Grace Jones, icon. Yeah. Um, and of course, national already. Yes. Big things. I mean, there's so many people. There was Alia Atkinson. Alia Atkinson. Yeah. Meaningful. That one, and you know what she said? She said it already, of course. She said, This is the greatest achievement. Mm -hmm. This is the this is the achievement. Yeah. Of all her achievements, then this is like yeah. the one. Yeah. That's listen, Alia do one mom of work right now, you know, as the soul female. Soul swimmer. I mean, we don't want to say soul because there are other people trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the truth is she is like carrying she a major flag right now. She never stopped Johnny and it's me think, okay. Because swimmers, people tend to feel swimmers have a have a lifetime to to their career and you think, all right, Alia probably gonna give up right now. Never stop mm -hmm. and still doing well. Children, Big up children. Alia Atkinson, Jamaican hero. But no, she's a hero right now. Yeah. I tell her people. Let, let's talk about some heroes. Um, because in sports, mm -hmm. Shelly and Fraser Price. Fraser Price. Yes. Statue unveiled yeah, today. Yeah, nice. Like yesterday. Why well, is statue unveiling them all? There's so much excitement. Why people yeah. go out there? Yeah, people take out the statue unveiling them right now. Like, I, I hear somebody say, yeah. <laughs> Big up Chef Noel for Facebook. They are talking as the chef. Him right. him chef, a statue chef so really have a statue problem. <laughs> Somebody tell Chef no one say, he have a statue problem. <laughs> chef no one say, why make the, why make the, are you know, this tiny statue? Yes. Why make him, he can't see her face. Chef no one say, why make him see her face? Her face up high to the sky. <laughs> but uh, her face was, it, it was. When well, she comes, she yeah, 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 she came from her face than she, yeah. So the, the statue is a replica of her. Her, her image as she crossed the line back in 2008 at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, and we all remember that if you're yeah, watching the Olympics. Yeah, we just love what we are to do. I mean, I think it's great that we can honor these young people when they're alive, they're not they're dead. We see them people honor them and show them respect because yeah. they deserve it. Yeah. Um, and to me, the most important thing, and one of the things I think we need to re reinforce for today, New Year's Day, is that while we are recognizing the achievements of individuals, um, we have to look and say, what can I do? I, I said to somebody when you name the heroes, they come from all over the place, you know, mm -hmm. Portland, St. Thomas, St. Anne, Manchester, West Yeah. And when you look at them background before they were on the heroes, it's regular Jamaican people, mm -hmm. but they have a vision and a commitment to, to something. So every single 
single one of we is a hero, you know, John. Yes. Every single one of we, you know. We just we have to decide you know, what, what we're committing to. What What's your purpose? Yeah, man. What's your purpose? Yeah, man. I want to take the time to be Noel Cunningham locked in. Mark Slade is there daily. We have Deidre James watching. Hi, uh, Deidre. Hi, Deidre. Yeah. Also, we have um, Carla Walters, Beverly Daily. DJ Criss Cross, the girl's boss. We got Cross. DJ Criss Cross. The girl's boss. The girl's boss. That means he might pay. He might pay. Criss Cross boss has a pay. Criss Cross, you have a pay. You don't have a lot. That's what we say. He's a boss. You have a pay. But Criss Cross has a pay. Criss Cross has a pay. Big up for uh, Renardo Israel as well as Len Han. Len Hen. Lan Hen. Lan Hen. Lan Hen. Lan Hen. Now you have CM. You know what I'm saying. Why we always come up with such names? I mean, it's a poly person here. Lanhead, Lanhead. Now we don't know where people come from. Lanhead, Lanhead. Look here. Lanhead, Lanhead. Pull out all our immigration officers. Lanhead, Lanhead. Take your leg and don't take any more. Ah, oh, DJ, can you take out that story from the French? Hold on. All right, Bills. Yeah. We 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 honored Miss Lou recently. Yep. Um, for a statue, which I which I which is great because the the clearly this government decided to never go through the full gamut of arts culture. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was great to see Miss Lou being honored as well. She, I mean, well deserving. I well know, deserved. Right? I don't think we even understand the the, 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 the measure of the well. And of what she's done. Mm -hmm. we don't know. We don't Some know. say hero, mm -hmm. national hero, should be bestowed on Miss Lou. Miss Lou. Yeah. For what she achieved culturally. Mm -hmm. Personally, I I am in agreement with that. Okay. Because when you study the history. Mm -hmm. Literally, Miss Lou was the only person at the time mm. achieving what she was achieving and breaking down the language barrier and cultural barrier for Jamaica. Yeah. When you think about her years in the UK, explaining who we were to the world, I mean, all that was something you can't measure. How do you measure something like that? So, so that's the thing, and I think one of the arguments Kevin O'Brien Chan was putting forward is that um, the heroes that we have now are all in a certain context. Yeah. So everyone said, we have to start looking now at what, what are we saying heroes are. Right. Because there are many ways to, to, to fight. You have to be with machete and stick and, and mm -hmm. whatever. You can't fight with a pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Miss Lou, in terms of um, she, her social work, she was a social worker. Yes. Culture, going around Jamaica and, and capturing the spirit of the nation in mm -hmm. terms of the folklore and, um, and our heritage and our history. What I learned about country weddings is what I got from Miss Lou's documentation mm -hmm. of it. Right. So in terms of that documentation and archiving of who we are, right. and then as you said, translating national complex issues in a way to our Miss Lou's views, mm -hmm. so that everybody could be able to understand it not only in the simplest form, but also have a voice mm -hmm. towards and, and join that national dialogue. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I talk Miss Lou, I would just narrow it down to patwa. And she thought part of it was much, much more than but now it was the poems, you know, I mean, two weeks ago, poems, I would say that yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was uh, much deeper than that, much more than that. Absolutely, absolutely. And even the way in which she, I mean, one of the things I'm doing now at you was is looking at the way in which she influenced how we grew in post independence Jamaica. Right. So, so, so my thing is, how do we put everything? Context. People don't even know this, but I, when, I, when I was working with the Jamaica Information Service as a producer for um, cultural programs, Jamaica Diary, yeah, yeah, I had to do some research on independence and, and who were some of the players back in nineteen in nineteen late fifties into the into sixties into the sixties who were being asked to take the message of independence. Around. cultural ambassador for the government at the time and I had to go around and explain to people what this independent scene was about and then what how what part you were playing in shaping the new Jamaica. Absolutely. So it's and so in post independence Jamaica, one of the people um that we have to recognize for her contribution. So how so, so part of the problem is when we talk about development, mm -hmm. um we talk about road and we talk about infrastructure but development without people mm -hmm. is nothing. It, 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 <laughs> So people have to be at the core of development for it, Johnny, to make any sense. But to be maintained. Well, the well people, the people. you can put the best hospitals in a country, you know. Right. But if I sick and I cannot access the hospital, what is that development? Mm -hmm. We can have the best roads, mm -hmm. but if me can't drive on it, right. is that development? 
people. Yeah. How much is how come much people access? Yeah. Are it really like that? It's really a holistic approach when you're talking about lifting a country. Yes, ma'am. Because you can't just deal with the infrastructure alone. You really have to deal with the people, mm-hmm. changing the culture and the mindset of the people. Miss Lou was into that. Let's talk about some other. What can we can we can talk about this for the world? Show people. <laughs> so, um, in terms of where we are now, where is Heroes Day like today? I mean, a lot of our citizens, I, I can't blame them. Mm-hmm. We, you know, business after all, and people have to make money. So, mm-hmm. we have promoters who promote parties, and we have people who promote events. And yeah. Holiday is a great time. People are off work, they like extra days of sleep. But really, and truly, Heroes Day and this entire period has become. Has become a goal team, as we say, yeah, yeah, vacation time. Vacation time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are we connecting this time with our millennials, the young people? I mean, how are we? Is it, do you find that is this a... connect from before them? Yeah. Is this connect from before them? Are we yeah. starting positive with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, so some people like them and some of the millennials don't care, but are we disconnect them enough? That's because true. when we were growing up, we were connected because of, of, of how we were taught and yes. what we knew. But yes. what have we done to connect them? Yeah. And, and, and I tell people, you know, you have to speak people's language and you have, you, have to, you have to make it relevant to them. Mm-hmm. They have to understand really this is what being a hero means to you. We have not done anything much though not with, with our heroes. Not at all, well, right? Tell it No, for real. Uh, there's no, there's no Janet, heroes Janet, cartoon. Of the, of the early this year, we still asked whether Nanny was a real woman. Oh, and no. if you ask people who is Nanny, they wow. say Nanny catch money. Wow, wow, They're wow, rare. Wow. wow. That's you know, it. We have done nothing really for true enough. Because guess what? I don't love to, to see a, a, a hero's cartoon from a TV. Yeah. That, that big enough the heroes show them history to young people. So them can say, all right, maybe a hero's app. Film. 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 So you're going on the app, you can learn about the heroes. What about some films, local films? And there's some... And, and there's the Marcus Gavin movie. Okay. You know what I mean? As a first okay. national hero we have. Yeah. There's some serious... I mean, Louis Bennett movie need to come out. You know? But, 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 Johnny, when you look at a... Pat Google, that movie, the epic in our system. 1865. Come on, man. It's up to eight to the middle of somebody to Paul Google. Walk to 50 miles wow. from St. Thomas to a Spanish mm-hmm. town to try to get them to hear where Mappy said mm. for, for people's rights, you know. Mm. And and then he Mappy walk back and him said, What was it? Nobody wants to hear about it. And the man walk home back and then the man said, No, man, you have to stand up this thing. No, me tell him, say, me, me don't know if Paul Bogle said me to walk one night, if me not walk behind him. <laughs> and if me walk 50, <laughs> and then tell me, say, Dear, I'll try to hear him. I is that. That's the paper. <laughs> Next month. I guess I'm going to leave. 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 i am going to leave 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 i and mm-hmm. overcoming challenge that anybody may can think of. We can pick some shop, fall over. I mean, it's there, but where is the content? Where is it? Because a film, a film, and, and, and apps and everything they appeal to the millennials. Mm-hmm. Where is it? If you're on Facebook and social media, no, where is it? Where is it, Johnny? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's the question, people. What are we doing to preserve our culture, mm-hmm. to maintain it, to push it out there? Dale Harris asking some serious, some real questions that, you know, we can't blame government for this right now, you know, people. No, we need to put the, some private people for spots who probably could have helped yes. influence artists to even work harder some more. Yes. If there was perhaps some incentives, maybe artists would have started, yo, maybe we can do this, we can produce these films. Johnny, there are books written already. I the screen, they can write tell, I want to tell Mr. Man mm-hmm. that I have to grill up him business. Yes. And I have to hire three million security guard that if him did invest mm-hmm. in the social development of Jamaica, mm-hmm. he wouldn't have to worry about people are working in place. Wow. But we, don't, yeah, but we don't see the connection to, to that and what is happening in society. So sometimes I see corporate people and they say, oh my God, what's happening with Jamaica? You, yeah. Yeah, you have not Jamaica. The government cannot do everything. And where is your contribution? Sometimes I say, what is the return on investment? What's the return on investment? Return on investment is not just about what you can sell. And now the immediate. 
Now, but the time doesn't tell us where you can't sell. You can't, you, you can't go in your place, you're in a war, so somebody will come in and come rob you. That's the greatest return. And you, and you can open your business, business not just pay 12 hours, but pay 24 hours. You can't get some society safe. I'm going to come for me now. Mm -hmm. A comp so when we said it's a compound. Compound. Jamaica is where said most renowned. It's the first free, free. Well, the maroons in general. Yes. The, the people mostly know a compound because they treat it with culture and they must sign there. Right. But they, but they have the Cholan and maroons. They have yeah, the Portland maroons. maroons. Yeah, Charleston, right. Charleston Moore, Maroon. Mm -hmm. Scott Sall is, is is very little known, and, right. they, and that's on purpose. Mm -hmm. Um, that's Scott's eyes. <laughs> yeah, because they were like the Maroon Hospital, so the injured, the vulnerable went there. Oh, okay. So then they were giving that people in case they, they would have been invaded. And I so wonder if they learned that issue. So, so Scott's eyes. Yeah, was the where hospital. the injured went. Yeah. And so they never really make that known, so then they. No, no. Wow. And the healing still takes place there. There. That's Scott's eyes, by the way. I'm there. Yeah. So, me say they are missing the chill, and she woke up the door, and me sit down there and she. She has to deal with her business and me I look around and me I say, oh yes. That's how we know that we do that. That's how we know that we do that. And she said, you know? She said, why are you cold? I'm like, oh. That's how we know that we do Yeah. But let's say all the business that I don't know that She said, no, we don't cry right now, dear. Jamie, no cry. What? Look at yeah. that, people. No crying, no, they are a compound Jamaica. Let's say. And that is where we run things there. No, sir. So, somebody asked me. Yeah. So, if a compound can achieve that, mm -hmm. want to rest in Jamaica. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. When a man don't feel him up a radio, when a man respect you as, as family, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, we, we, we. Are Listen, it, 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 it's we, it's culture, it's, it's really how, how people really decide to, to, to run them life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, what, what is it that you went? impart to your generation of people and we see it happening all the time in the days when you grow up in a certain community i can see how the children have been conditioned to become something mm -hmm. whether it's positive or negative like you can see the condition that happens and we can say they must see it mm -hmm. when when the youth them are passed the youth them do this and then they're not else mm -hmm. you know they're not going to do this every day mm -hmm. that's what the youth them are come from doing now yeah i mean i live in an inner city where honestly the, the kids are used to aspire to go hostile Hustling was the aspiration. And the hustle is low, it's, it's, it's the lowest level. Mm. We have care glass, we have for the big man. But the, that's what they saw the big man them coming and call. Yeah, they're supposed to look at food. You know, that, that was your example. Yeah, they must so look at food. If you don't give them give the kids another type of food to mm. eat, that's what they're gonna continue to eat. Yeah. Daily Harris is not a place. People but I'm so excited about that interview. I'm not doing myself right now. How do you feel being interviewed here? Like I interview people all the time. If I say to my people, I interview me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are interviewed a lot, though. I know that yeah. a, a lot of people are, are interviewing you, or you do. You do a lot of work talking to people. I mean, outside of TV, people, what, what do people need to know that you do? I do a lot of um, motivational speech. Yeah, yeah, speech. yeah I, um, I do a lot of graduations, award ceremonies. I host a lot of events. I know you're doing stand up comedy. Come and talk, man. Look at man. Come and talk to you, yeah. man. Listen, Daily Harris, <laughs> flatten the Johnny Live comedy bar. When I say flatten, I mean a pure dead body left when she's done. <laughs> Kingston was phenomenal. But then we went to Moby. Oh, and then dear. I was watching you oh, perform. <laughs> Because when you're a performer, straight. Yeah. I, I don't know. But when we, we see you go after the art and it's like a catcher, a catcher, you're a bit knowing of this. You can't <laughs> not do this anymore. No, I mean, and, and this, the thing with me, Johnny, is I don't like to do things halfway. So mm -hmm. if I go and do it, I go and do it. Absolutely. So, you know, I know you say, this, this, I come to the stand up thing, but I feel if, I, if I'm doing it, I would say, yeah, I commit to do that thing. Yeah, yeah. No, totally, come on, man. Yeah, man, I commit. Well, I'm watch your up here, I'm saying, yes. I put oh, in some you. senior work up there, other people are sharing giant ourselves at the same time. Yeah. Look here, when I see them people tell you, you tell them, tell you you're them biz, private business. Private Listen, business. Listen, you have to get, you have to get an audience absolutely comfortable with they you. Tell me them private. Look here, private business. Look here, giant people. The man <laughs> say, I said, how long have you two been together? The man said, in my work, funny. It's, it's three, three years. years. <laughs> three years. <laughs> Mr. 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 Mr.
said, Lady, evaluate him. That I'm dead young. I said, Save him. Tell him for water and make him stay. Three years? No. Then, if, then one time you ask somebody else, him jump in. I said, No. For three years, you never pay a slip. You never pay a slip while you're jumping at somebody's business. Uh-huh. No, that's right. Never pay a slip. So, I'm old people. Yeah. Story change. Yeah. 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 No, I think that night. She said, Harris, what are you coming up with? I know that you, 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 you are successful in several theater productions that you mounted recently. Yeah. Last one, Kiss of the X. Oh, love. Big up to the big movie star that they had in the movie. Oh, yeah, go on to the other. I mean, you've influenced a lot of young people too, are doing well now. Uh, well, and I'll say young people that are focused. Yes. Because I love young people, you know, because if you come in and you're not focused, then you're not, you're not going to work. Did that not work And I've been fortunate to have Chantal and yes. Girl that's coming in. Girl, that's on the show today. Um, Kanye, mm-hmm. everybody just come and put in the work, you know? Old people to like Chris Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that's not weird. They are putting the work people like <laughs> But, but know what it is, but, Dave? I yeah. see blending, blending the, the older people and the young people, yeah. which is essential too. Because that's why I came up with the business. Yeah. When I was coming in, I got to work with Leonie Forbes, Charles Harris, Faye mm. Ellington. Mm. Come on, no man. No, man. So when I mention all them people, yeah, man. if me not pick up, no, come on. If me not pick up, no, no, me head tough. Come on, no. And, and uh, you know, I'm going to say, young people, them nah, oh, all <laughs> to me. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, every player. No. I'm going to mention that, all of us, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to mention that, I'm going to mention that, I'm going to say, show me who, because young people, them nah, all to me. Come on, man. Come on, man. But that's important. It's important because the young people are learning from our experience. Right. But we're also learning from this newness mm-hmm. that they have, you know? Energy. Energy and them have a new vision. Yes. So it, it keeps it fresh. It keeps it keeps it moving. Keeps it solid. Absolutely. So Absolutely. yeah, but no kids are there. No, we're careful kids today. That, that play, I listen, a rare review is it getting on in there. I'm gonna feel so vexed because man, I tell you when we miss it, I'm here after this question. We have to see it. Have to see it one day they come one night and they listen to me so enjoy your life and, and watch these things. Yeah. Uh, I love this. Uh, she said I'm not going to lie. I won't say what it is, because when she said when you said it. I'm going to say, why? <laughs> my daughter had to say, Mommy, what are you doing? <laughs> so I said, don't worry, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to So no, and, and I think my joy is writing things that people connect with, you know? Mm-hmm. Contemporary stories. So that I go on Jamaica. Well, you know, when you look at, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know where the things are coming from. Now we want to teach you them to be a top of the place. All Fire. No, man, wait, wait. Imagine, yeah. we go for the t shirt. For me, sure sure sure. for me, 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 for Stick. One of my oh favorite my productions. Gosh. I know easy. You know, me say that is not easy. Because no, I've done quite a bit, right? Listen. Awesome, awesome. What what can we what can we expect from Dale Harris moving forward? Yeah, you did a number of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, suspect yeah. you're studying something. Yes. Are you doing uh, doctor at all? I'm going to tell you. I don't know. I had a conversation with Dr. Maria Sweet while we were in a compound, and one of the things we were discussing was um, Ronnie Williams, mm-hmm. who has a birthday coming, coming up. Yes. Yeah. And um, we both felt that. I was trying to get the kind of props I'm supposed to get because the information is out there. So um, one of the things I want to look at doing is see how we can focus the information and mass running on things that need done so people really understand. Yeah. You know, get what I'm going to contribute to Jamaica. So when them pass Ronnie Williams Entertainment Center, they understand themselves. Yeah, that's right. Names that's up. right. Names up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what if I history where we need to unearth and dig up and put out there for people. Yeah. Because honestly, the you know, I often think about it, you know, I say, I need to probably start writing my book then for myself. It's important. Because, me nobody going to pick it up. Right, no, no, no. And I said to them, that's, and I said to her, maybe that's why 
Miss Lua Stana Shatahena. Because she right. wrote. Because she wrote and mm -hmm. we were able to access the information yes. and, and put that together. But um so Rani thing is we have to try to find it and where it is and, and, and that's that's across the board that Jamaica and Bob Andy, I'm telling somebody that Bob Andy is one of our amazing. most prolific amazing. songwriters. Amazing. 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 Well you said that the, 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 some people from the road they may even know you that much. I'll give you another name that people need to know more about young people culture. Olive Louis. Massive. I mean what she had what she did yeah. culturally. Your people need to know. And they want to. And she was responsible for almost archiving one who was so what of Jamaica. Not and they want to know. Stop telling people when you go to people they say, you know, I want to do something. Young people are really interested in that. Look, man, I did country wedding and everywhere I go, I see a young person. Mm -hmm. Oh, and did you hear that? You know, I remember the play of guys' dreams. And did you hear that? I remember the play of a country wedding. So I said, no, my country wedding done, man. You know, it's a cup of pack. And them come, them watch. One girl said, so the person, you know, this is a country town where they think different from mm -hmm. that. You know, as as we continue to spread out to so as Jamaicans, people in the diaspora, the people are growing up, the millennials are growing up to be Jamaican parents, they want to know about their history now. And if we leave that gap too wide, we're going to lose them. And we, and we leave that people to misinform them as well. Yes, that's people true. to misinform them. So we have to do that. And, and I think, so that's one of the things I want to look at um, content, you know? Yes. More television content. Um, the beauty of, of online is that, you know, if you don't have a big, you can do three minutes. Three three minutes, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do some things online that people can access and learn and enjoy. So that's what I think. Try to put my personality within the cultural thing and make people enjoy learning. I look forward to it. <laughs> Listen, Dale Harris, I've run people, but it's been my absolute pleasure to have on the show. Dale, where you watch it to the people? More, Dale? You well, to people, people more 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 more. Said, DJ, kid, in the corner, I'm going to give that ear away and say, kid, <laughs> kid, oh, I'm going to laugh now. Okay, I just have a little bit of answer, man. Now watch it over there. <laughs> so yeah. a real wait, 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 let's tell people about the cricket chat. What is going on? ICC, yes. a come of the Caribbean for the women's cricket. I'm one of the ambassadors for women's cricket. What? Yes, on November 9th, 24. No, no, I shall come to Jamaica, but please fly. Gargayana. Tell her my girl. Tell her my star. She a world star. My star. That. So today, may I celebrate me. That 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 these women who are my cricket. Can we big up the, the regular girls before we go? Can we big up and tell them, say, look here, regular girls, if no, 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 watch it, no, no, watch. If a friend, I watch, record a little part, a quick stick and show them. May I all feel with the regular girls? Yes, ma'am. Go feet. Yes. Make history, girls. The, the whole nation are watching. They don't know. They don't even know what it is. The whole country I watch. I will feel like I'm a fan. I will tell you something, Jamaica people. Jamaica people. We love winning, you know, but we love when you do your best. Best. That's all I want we to love know. when you do your best. You know how much parents got sports day and know them pick me up from last? But them just got sports day and them stuck. <laughs> them, them dressed up in a jacket and them got sports day. Turn them up. And when they pick me in a line, you know, them say, yeah. Turn them up. Yeah. Yeah. And when them done, them take them picture. Yeah. And they put them on Facebook and them say, watch me style. Oh, my God. Yeah. If you ever ask how much income, let me not answer. Yes. How much income? Mr. Yashida, you should have seen me now. How much income? Hey, let me tell you something. The wicked is one day, though, let me say. Me can't borrow your son, my dad. So look here. But that's why I at least left for you. We love winning, but we love winning more. Just do your best. We love winning more. Do it. True, true. True, true. Absolutely. And if we still have them best days, we know not not them. So that's how they find them out. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. I'll be back here. No, no. No problem. No, no. Now you're busy, busy, but you don't know. You don't say, me in here, me in here when you need me. I am here. You're here, people. Kidding. I'm in town. Kidding. Kidding. You don't know if you're here. I know if you're here. I know. I know. We don't play a song and no kick all the way out to listen, kid. Play a song for deals, just. Play a song for deals, yeah. Play a song for deals, unfortunately. Yeah, play some for When Jack play some for me, kid, play some for me. Immediately. Play some for me. You can't buy this song. 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 You can't buy this song
Excellence, so the moniker right excellence uh, is, is adopted once you are given that honor. They are also traditionally honored with a tomb or a monument at the National Heroes Park, as well as a plaque or a shield displayed in some prominent national place, such as the Institute of Jamaica. So uh, lots of information. Our first national hero is Marcus Bosea Garvey. The insignia of the Order of National Hero is a 14-point gold and white star centered on a black enameled medallion. The medallion features Jamaican coat of arms in gold relief, and it is encircled by the motto of the order, which is, he built a city which hath foundation. Talk about someone who built a city with a foundation. Talk about someone who built a legacy with foundation. Talk about the great Bob Marley. Here's his son, Junior Grant. Living the foundation life. Stand up, man. Turn it up to be that kid. We move into the next section of the show. We have another great guest coming up on the Johnny Live Show. Turn the music there. Come on, people. It's not. It's Eros there. Me and my friend Dean Harris are here. That's up here. Come on. Oh, out of the ghetto. Believe in your dreams. Don't let go. Hey, my daddy. Y'all get some more drinks, please. Thank you very much. Hey, hey, ah, uh, hey, on the ghetto. Shakura, man. Don't let go. All right, let me make some big ups with me. Big ups some people here really quick. Andrea Barrett, big ups herself. She said, mm, me here. We are with this. We also Paula Brown, who's online. Andrea, thank you so much. Pick up yourself. Uh, Paula Brown is always like saying, let me see, Bubba Upsetter. We have Zabrick Bam. Uh, hey, good night to my friend Claire. How are you, Claire? Also, Marcella, Andre, uh, locked in right now. Thank you so very much, uh, family, for keeping it locked to the show. And we have another great guest coming in. And I want to invite her to roll in right now. Uh, because she is one hot mama in the streets. And she, this young girl, uh, DJ P, she has some nice music. Now let's see if you know her enough. Yeah, we're talking about an artist that goes by the name Girl. I wonder if I'm pronouncing the girl right. You know what I mean? I wonder if I'm pronouncing girl right. I know she uh, used to go to my alma mater, which makes this interview even more special. So big ups to uh, this young lady. Uh, I'm gonna give you a, a correct name real soon. Hold on. <laughs> oh, she's here, people. What are they? Them see her on the seat yet? I'm watching the live to see if you're on the seat yet. No, girl, you come on, girl. I'm also recording uh, on my part for my podcast live for the show. So you know what I mean. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Turn it up the DJ kid. Big up yourself. Welcome to the box. I call it the box. 
Not a lie, it's true, yeah? It's a great bar. It's a great bar? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So you went to Arlen High School? Yes, of course. They are do Quite a team. Get me that for list of people. We'll have list of people. Send your kids to Arlen. Send your kids to Arlen, guys. <laughs> they will send them back. <laughs> Girl, you look good. You look good. For real. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, come on up. Your website look good. I'm on your website right now. You right now. Are? Let me go and see uh, what this girl was going on with. And I like spelling. Um, it's spelled with a K. Did I change it? Yeah, it, it was, was another girl. It was G I R L. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's a group in between with Jack Singer, you know, the show. Oh, yeah. Me. So I'm group, group name girl. Yeah. Okay. Them song good. Them song, them song good. Them song All right. Good. So you just changed the spelling to make yeah, sure so that you. I wonder if I never go to school. God, I'm not going But I, I, you know what? It says here you love performing. And I, I've seen that. I've seen you live. Um, I've seen you act and I've seen you sing, and there's, there's so much passion coming from you when you do your work, and that's what I love to see first. I love to see passion first, because you can learn some of the techniques and then some of the afterwards. You know, when you have passion, if you have that fire, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. So big up yourself and and, 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 and where you are. All right, there's a couple of things that people need to know about you. Uh, your real name is Shanique Brown. Yes. You're still Brown and one. I'm not looking for anything. No. Aye. So it's still Shanique Brown uh, out there, one people. Um, and you want to tell us a little bit about who Shanique is? Where did you grow up? Um, in a Spanish town, right? Mm -hmm. Um, family from Keystone, all of us Spanish town. And then, um, parts of Anango, parts of St. Andrew. And, uh, oh, you're coming at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip from. Skip from. Asaiga. Yeah. 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 Asaiga. Parents are together. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, yeah, parents are kick out of the house. No, these things are I saw you so move on, move on. You get kicked out of the house. Yeah, me get kicked out of the place. I can't say. Hi, Mama. <laughs> but the struggles, you see, the struggles help. The struggles help your writing, they help your story. It helps that depth that you now have. It does. What what are you working on right now? Tell me tell me where you are now and what is it that you're doing? Yeah. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> um, we've been working, and I say we because it's another one. We've been working on a project that I hope touches people mm -hmm. and makes people feel and makes people happy. It's a musical project, musical or? project, right? Musical project, yeah. Um, and we're almost finished. Awesome. They realized just how close we were to the finish, and mm. I've heard some singles from you. I've heard some duets that you've done. Um, a couple, at least one, I'm sure, that's popular here with Kenzie. Oh, Kenzie. Uh, right. But you, uh, you've been awarded um, by, by UTEC. Yes. Uh, tell me about that. How did that award come about? And what, what, where did that stem from? Honestly, I have, um, okay. I was very surprised when they called me on a thing from Seth House Street, because this was a, a drama piece as well. Right. Um, when you go to Ireland, as we know, you're forced to be good at your curricular. Like, you have to do it. You have to be good at everything. You can't just be good at academics. Right, right, right. And from there, you do JCBC, and then everybody starts calling you to perform. Mm -hmm. And from there, you just, just slide in your feet. They come and they just stay. Right. And I guess from there, they just felt like I, I should get an award, and I deserve it most times. Well, you have been doing a, a, a lot of commercial work. I see you on TV and commercials, but your music, I think, is, is what the world needs to be exposed to some more. Yes. Musically, you, you've also been growing. I mean, is, is there a reason for that? Who, who, who are the influencers who've been assisting you with growth musically? Um, my band members, first and foremost. So you have a band? I have a band. People, hold on, this young girl now. Let me tell you something. She have a website, <laughs> she have a team, Shall I buy? Now people don't invest in these things unless you have promise. So that is true. That's true, but it's not just them investing in me, it's me investing in them as well because yes. they're all talented and hardworking people. Like if you work hard, oh God, Miss Brown's here. Mm -hmm. Miss Brown's here. And then you have the producer, my manager, and the PR, and, right. um, and my friends and family. How important is it for you to have that team? Um, I know personally that. When you are working, 
and you, you have ideas and you're doing much for yourself, a lot of ideas coming through. Mm -hmm. You can get bogged down in, in just doing the arts, but yeah. then the promotion is left ne ne neglected, um, your image is left neglected. How important it is to have a team of people working with you? So important. So, 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 so important. I started out, you know, doing everything on my own, mm -hmm. and then that became my boy and did my girl. And then everybody else has to come in. It's so important because, like, today I forgot to post everything on social media. And I did everything. Post, 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 post. post, post but the thing post. is, I had the freedom not to post. Right. I had the freedom to sit down and work on the project. And it's the biggest thing. Because somebody else was posting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 